Hello, my name is Rafael. I'm the director for the web series for New Blue FX, and I'm here to show you two little gems that I found while working on Essentials 5. So one of the things I want to I want to show you today is how when you shoot at high resolutions, uh, anything above 4K, and you're outputting to 1080, sometimes you want to go in and recompose your shot. Well, this little tool will help you do that. So this little tool is called Proportion Helper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just really quickly show you what it's what it does. So what it does is it creates these guides, like the rule of thirds, um, spiral sections. Now in this particular case, because we did shoot at 4K, obviously when you drop the filter in, it's going to show at 4K. So the minute I start zooming in, obviously my guides are going to change. So I don't want that. So I want to go ahead and delete that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate this uh, adjustment layer by holding alt or option and dropping it in there. Um, double check if there's anything inside of this one. Looks like it's empty. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there. And now when I do my adjustments, see that like it stays, uh, the guides remain. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit because I want to get the keyboard to go along with this line. So I just want to zoom in a little bit. See, it's a little bit off. So I am going to use a rotation and rotate it just a little bit, maybe there. Actually, two degrees is too much. So it's just off by a little bit. So one degree right there. There you go. And I'm going to bring this back to 100 to see what it looks like. There you go. Now everything is pretty well aligned. Now what I notice here is that it looks like I'm starting to show a little bit of the background video because I have another layer back there or another track back there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom that in. At 105, I think 105 sounds good. There you go. I still want to adjust it a little bit because I'm cutting off the phone here at the bottom. And I want to level things out. Now for this, I want to go ahead and use uh, spiral sections because it'll give me a nice little uh, box right here that I can frame this little guy here. So I want to bring this guy up here around this area. And I think it'll balance everything out once I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm selected on my video clip and start moving this guy up a little more. I want to get his head like right at the halfway point for that spot. That's good right there. Now I want to move him over to the left. So let's move this guy a little bit over to the left. Not too much because I don't want to leave that gap again that I had on the right hand side. There. Now I have a little bit more room here. Everything kind of looks uh, nice and balanced in my opinion. Uh, go ahead and take that off. There you go. And cool. I can get rid of that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is in this particular case, I wanted the red to really pop. So what I want to do, I can go ahead and go through color correction and stuff. But if there's one plugin that can do it all, why not use that? So I'm going to go ahead and, f and look for this plugin called Dual Booster. Now, this did the trick for me. So the minute I double click and drop it in. Look at that. Immediately boost up the reds, the whites, everything. It just made it pop and the temp the preset in this particular case is called add pop and it does make it pop um so you know most of the nuclear fix plugins come in with a series of presets so you can go ahead and navigate through those see which one you like but in this case this particular uh preset is doing the job now my only concern at this point is that the red might be too much and it might not be safe and the scopes and it is a little high. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that down just a little bit. So it's in the legal range and maybe, maybe I'll bring it down by 10% or something, uh, or maybe less. There you go. That looks good. It's the red still popping, the white still popping. It's just not illegal anymore. So everything looks good. Um, you can go through these if you want. Some of them are kind of interesting. Um, depending on what you want to do, uh, you can create some really, interesting uh looks uh for you to play with silver extreme actually looks kind of cool i think but in this particular case all i really needed to do was to pop the red and that's exactly what this uh what this plugin did for me so i hope you enjoyed this um 
If you have any questions, please feel free to visit the new BlueFX website where you can find out more information about these plugins and you can also download a free trial for you to check out and play with and see if it's right for you. Uh, thank you.